What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Molen Automotive. Once again, that's Molen Automotive with the ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Guys, in this video, it's a very, very exciting day for Molen Automotive as Molen Automotive have actually released today a very impressive news regarding their battery regarding their battery research so guys we will talk about that today and of course um some uh, recent some, some other recent articles regarding molen automotive guys if you like the information and analysis i'll be providing in this video please hit the like and subscribe button let's get going so we released a pr not too long ago and uh, and prior to that we announced some results of testing that we did here in the united states we've been developing solid state polymer battery solutions for quite some time now and we're filing patents all over the place in relation to our technology. Um, the importance of it, and I and I listened to the to the individual um, from Symbol K U L R uh, yep. who was um, cooler yep. speaking prior, you know, prior to me, and he had talked a little bit about it. What he neglected to talk about was um, some of the benefits of solid state polymer. It's a it's a safe, clean, uh, reliable solution, meaning. We're not mining dangerous metals out of the earth to make these batteries like you do with your lithium ion phosphate, lithium magnesium cobalt, lithium you know, aluminum, and just all of these different um, cathodes and all these super hybrid anodes, you know, your silicon graphene yeah. on the anode side. And everybody thinks that they can get to the theoretical maximum potential for an electrolyte of four, you know, five volts. You know, we, on the other hand, are realists, right? We work diligently to produce quality products. Our solid state polymer battery, we rated it at 300 amp hours. We tested it here in the US, tested at 343 amp hours at 4.3 volts. I'm gonna put it in perspective for you. That is literally unbelievable. I mean, to the point to where the United States Department of Energy was like amazed with the results. More importantly than those results, degradation. Here's, here's the key that the other guy didn't key on. Degradation, when you take a typical lithium cell, that's either lithium sulfur, lithium ion you know, phosphate, lithium magnesium cobalt, you take any standardized chemistry, degradation after 5,000 cycles is about 80%. Degradation after 100,000 cycles on our solid state polymer cell was 2%, meaning a flat line across, 2%. That is where you have what we call the paradigm shift, right? That to me is the difference. Now, let's talk about safety. You could take a torch, right? I heard some comments about heat and 1000 degree. Listen, here's the bottom line. You could take a torch and burn a hole right through our cell. And we have tests demonstrating that. Put a hole right through it and nothing will happen. You take a standard lithium based cell and you put a torch to it, it's going to explode like a bomb. You take a uh, standard cell and you throw it in some salt water, watch what happens. You're gonna have a pretty nice fire. You take our cell, you dip it in some salt water, leave it there for a couple of days, take it out, hook it up, it works fine. So not only is it safe, when it comes time to repurpose it, or it comes time to dispose of it, it's not considered dangerous goods. And that's the key here. So it's safe, it's efficient, and it costs about 50% less than standard chemistry to produce, and it occupies 50% of the space. So all I think are, you know, hey, this this okay. could be a major paradigm shift in the entire landscape of the battery world. So guys, Molen Automotive today is currently trading at $1.50 by the time of this recording. And that's because of the news that just came up for Molen Automotive today. So guys, this is the uh, article from Yahoo Finance. Okay, so Battery Innovation Center BIC conducted cell testing in May 2022. So by the time of this recording, it's currently May uh, 31st. So results from Indiana's Battery Innovation Center, BIC, shows Mullen Automotive's solid-state polymer battery cell testing exceeds previously stated values of 300 ampere hours at 3.7 volts. BIC testing shows impressive results of 343.28 ampere hour 
at 4.2 volts for Molin solid state polymer battery cell which is in line with previously reported results from EV grid so guys this is the uh, second uh, testing the first one came up from EV grid and the second one is from BIC this data supports solid state polymer battery cell technology which when scaled to the vehicle battery pack level and at 150 kilowatt hour equivalent can deliver over 600 miles of range on a full range full charge for Molin 5 e EV crossover. So guys, going on with this article, it says here, testing conducted at Battery in Innovation Center in Indiana shows Mullins solid state polymer cell coming at 343.28 ampere hours at 4.2 volts, which is in line with previously quoted test results from EV grid. In EV in EV grid's testing, the solid state cell battery cell was rated at 300 ampere hours at 3.7 volts with the battery yielding 343 ampere hours at 4.3 volts the test data collected from both bic and ev grid have exceeded expected test tolerance and shows an impressive outcome and future for solid state batteries it is expected that with this technology when scaled to the vehicle pack level at 150 kilowatt hour solid state battery can deliver over 600 miles of range on a full charge for the Molin 5 EV crossover. In general, solid state batteries offer high energy, density, faster charging time, smaller size, and safety compared to traditional lithium ion cells. So, according to uh, David Mishri, I'm impressed with the ongoing performance of the solid state cell after going through multiple intense testing sessions from accredited testing facilities. Okay, so the battery has performed exceptionally well and I'm pleased with the results from BIC in Indiana. Okay, so we are pleased to see that the results from the ongoing testing are in line with those previously notated, said Ben Reitzman, President and CEO of BIC. The cell thus found has performed as stated and we will continue to test additional parameters to characterize the overall capabilities and performance. Okay, so there you go guys. It says here, so for all guys who don't know about BIC, BIC is a collaborative initiate, initia, initiative designed to incorporate leadership from renowned universities, government agencies, and commercial enterprises. The Battery Innovation Center focuses on the rapid development, testing, and commercialization of safe, reliable, and lightweight energy storage systems for defense and commercial customers. So guys, on the other note, you can also see here that uh, Molid Automotive sued for securities law violations. Investors should contact Black and Leviton for more information. So uh, these, uh, you know, these law firms have been popping up every now and then, okay, regarding the, uh, regarding uh, regarding these lawsuits. So what is it all about? So if you uh, actually check in here, guys, you can clearly see here that the uh, lawsuits that they are talking about is here the. Uh, Mullen overstated its deals with business partners, including Kianto Motors. Mullen overstated its battery and capabilities. So I think, guys, uh, we uh, are trying to debunk all of these uh, lawsuits one by one. And one of them being said is Mullen overstated its battery technology and capabilities. Now, guys, if we go to uh, the Mullen newsroom, Mullen, uh, yeah, you can also see here that Mullen is trying to expand its uh its uh, organization they have recently announced the uh, new hires to fuel companies growth okay growth so you can also see here all these new hires okay so guys i uh, strongly believe that uh, mullen uh, expanding their uh, <coughs> their uh, staff right just be it's because the business is growing or it's going through the right direction also one more thing mullen announced the hiring of richard curtis to president of international operations meaning on top of the use operations they have also been sending patents all over the world right so that's the reason why they hired this person richard curtis okay so which is very very good and lastly guys molin automotive announced impressive solid state polymer battery results with just which new this uh press release just came up today so we're expecting one more press release which is the fortune 500 company that has placed their uh, delivery van order so guys we are also expecting on that press release i strongly believe that um more of these news are coming okay and of course uh, this is very very good for investors like you and me now guys as you can see people all over twitter has been is very very excited regarding this news about molin everybody's waiting for this you know uh, for those who haven't loaded at 99 cents last friday i think 
I think <laughs> they probably regret their decision. Okay, but like I said, there's always opportunities in the market. And uh, today, by the time of this recording, Mullen is up 53 cents. As far as technical analysis is concerned, we are now overbought. So definitely, I uh, strongly believe that the uh, this is just in the 15 minutes time frame, guys. So I strongly believe that there's a lot of people who will be changing hands with uh, Molin stock uh, in the next uh, you know few days. Okay, so if there is a huge pump, definitely the stock will definitely go down. So that will be in their 15 minutes time frame. But if you go to your daily time frame, guys, okay, um, we can also see here that your uh, RSI is only 57.98, which means that we still have a, a huge potential on the upside okay so that is no brainer uh, hopefully guys uh, like I said earlier uh, today is a very very exciting day uh, which is uh, not actually uh, I'm not expecting this uh, with the uh, Molin because uh, technically speaking the the price I mean the, the indices are actually down today but Molin is actually trending upwards well at the price of uh, one dollar and 48 cents it's slightly down now because uh like i said i am recording this uh during the trading hours also you can clearly see here that our volume for today is a staggering 238.93 million our average volume for the stock is only 134.89 million so we are in q2 right now uh like i said <clears throat> in q2 we are expecting the major major order for for fortune 500 and also we're expecting uh the close of the atvm loan from the department of energy so those are the two things that we are expecting from molen automotive as our huge huge catalysts okay also we can clearly see here guys that uh <coughs> that uh <coughs> we are now at 52 uh, around few more than 50 percent up for the day so guys once again so there's a lot of room to the upside for mullen because if the market condition is uh you know uh it's really uh, depressing that the entire market is still in the downward trend. But like I said, if uh, the, the the market is not in the downward trend, I strongly believe that Mullen should be trading at around eight dollars right now, eight dollars, nine dollars, right? But since we we are in a downward trend, uh, even before you know Tesla, right? Uh, without the ATVM loan, without enough cash, right? Uh, they said that Mullen should be. Uh, uh, burning a lot of cash during the production but of course if you don't burn a lot of cash for the production you cannot release any product so like i said guys uh, there's a lot there's still a lot of uh, good news coming up for mullen over the horizon so it's up for the investors like you and me to uh to uh to hold on to your conviction right that um Mullen is a solid, solid company, and it has uh, it has a, a, a solid potential to uh, to be a huge competitor in the growth of the EV world. Okay. Once again, guys, if you like the information and analysis I have provided in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, this is your boy Don Leo Trades. I love you all. Peace out. <music>